So Chloe and I had snack this week. We had to bring something because one of her friends is gluten free, one's dairy free, and one can't have that much sugar. So what did we bring? Cookies. Cookies for all those things? That's right, cookies. It can be challenging when you have kids with tons of food allergies, but we still want our friends to have all the yummy treats that we get to enjoy. Oatmeal, chocolate chip cookies that are gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, what else? Egg-free, everything. Um, really simple, as long as you have the right ingredients. Easy to make. Should we make them together, Chloe? Yeah! <laughs> so let's start with some Earth's Balance. This is just like butter, but it's a vegan substitute, a dairy-free substitute. And we're gonna just stick that right in the mixer. <laughs> All right, now. You don't wanna get your hands dirty, not a problem. Can you put that in? Yeah. That's a half a cup of sugar. That's just regular white sugar, but these cookies, make, this makes 24 cookies, and it comes out to a teaspoon of sugar per cookie, which is not a lot. So should we start whipping that up? All right, here we go. I'm just gonna cream, cream these two ingredients up for about two to three minutes until they're nice and fluffy. It's getting all over there. Yep, what we're gonna do? We need to clean it, right? We're gonna scrape it down, always in between. Wanna give it a nice taste? Oh, yes. Let's, should, shouldn't we wait until we eat all the batter? Make all of it up? Yeah, I'm gonna eat the batter. Mm -hmm. Younger than All right. Now, here is the trick to this recipe. You're like, wait a minute, no eggs. What am I gonna use? Flax seeds, ground flax seed. They look just like this in the package, but you could also grind your own. Go ahead and pour that in, Chloe. I can do it. Oh, you can do it? Okay, you do it. Perfect, can I use my little scraper to get every last bit out? And that's gonna act like an egg in these cookies to make them come together and be nice and fluffy. Need some vanilla. I can use vanilla. the vanilla. Hey, like magic. Just about a teaspoon. I wanna do it. You're gonna pour it a teaspoon, that's a little bit, not much. Go ahead. Wow, you really were able to guesstimate that, Chloe. Now, while that is still mixing up, you ready for this, Chloe? I need your help. Can you pour the flour? I've got gluten-free flour here. You could totally use all-purpose if that's all you've got, but if you're trying to make a gluten-free cookie, you want two important ingredients. Can you do this? That is gluten-free, all-purpose flour. King Arthur brand mix it. I can't put the flour in here. Okay, and now. Um, and then gluten-free oats. If you have a gluten-free intolerance, like celiacs, you want to. We're done with those. You want to make sure that you get something that says gluten-free oats. Okay. Now let's see. Have our little whisk, and we're gonna put in some cinnamon. Which whisk? I want to do. Okay. You can do this one. And baking soda. I want to do it. Okay. Then your clothes gonna look good. Take that. I'll be your assistant. How's that, Chloe? Oh, 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 oh. That's okay, just keep going. Just a little bit more gentle. All right, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and should we dump it on in? Can I? I want to dump it. Okay, then just, here we go. Slowly. Good, we'll do it together. And just gonna, everything's just gonna quickly incorporate right in. You're basically just making an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie, but the difference is you're making, you're improvising a little bit. All right, and then, Chloe, what's the best part? Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips, but these are vegan or dairy-free chocolate chips. There's two brands here, but there are bunches of brands. You can buy them at uh, health food stores, but are you sneaking chocolate chips? <laughs> you can also use, these are carrot chips. Um, so that's just two different kinds. All right, how about the putting them in the cookies? All right. And if Chloe and I you like to, whoa, to make sure that's locked down. I like to use a scooper like this. This is a two tablespoon scooper and put it on to, whoo, uh, a silk hat lined baking sheet. Get all this out of the way. And all I'm going to 
to do, I'm going to show you this, because this is, it's just like making normal cookies. I'm I take this, them. you can have a little bit of this. See, there's no eggs in it, so it's perfect. You could even eat this raw. You're going to take a scooper like this and place it onto a silk hat line baking sheet, and then you're going to bake them for 300 and bake them at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes until they're golden. What do you think of those? Cookies, right? Should we try one together? Did you, she probably really just went for the one with the most chocolate. Can I have a bite of that? You can get your own candy one. Can I just have a bite of yours? Because well, you best friends share. And then we can share after. It's that easy. For more fast, fresh, and easier recipes like this and more, check out weglicious.com.